Hi and welcome to Tex Nation TV. Still out here covering CES 2014 on the showroom floor. And I had to stop by only because you see this thing behind me? You all know what this is. This is the world's largest internet router. Yes, I said the internet router. We had to stop by because you saw on South Park, I know you did, this is it. We came and found the router. And we wanted to stop by and talk to Chris Boehner here. I believe he is the builder, you uh, help product button. manager. Product yeah. product manager. Okay, so I want to introduce him and kind of let him talk about it because it seems, you know, all of us remember the Linksys 54 WRT 54G from back in the day. It was the most hacked router that anybody could own, and we all shared and gave it to our family and friends because it was the most awesome router back in the day. But as of this last year. Uh, Linksys kind of came back out on its own, so we're going to kind of ask you about that. So tell us about this router first. Yeah, absolutely. So this is the WRT 1900 AC router. Um, it, it's kind of Linksys' is foray back into WRT. You know, uh, the 54G that you mentioned is actually the best-selling router of all time. 50 million units sold, has a very large following of people. It's very iconic. I mean, if you look it up, wireless router on Wikipedia, it actually shows a 54G. Right? There so you go. we wanted to, um, after the acquisition with Belkin, we actually wanted to bring that heritage back. So we, you can see the industrial design, it's back to blue and black, we've put the external antennas on there, and so a lot of people are excited to see it. Yeah, it's nice to see a familiar face, a familiar brand name. Like I said, we all grew up with one of these routers. I mean, with the distribution partner of Walmart, you guys were pretty much in every corner of the United States right. being able to, you know, basically run the market basically when it comes exactly. to wireless routers so that's amazing and I just heard and I might have missed this uh, over the last year you guys actually broke away from Cisco it sounds like and you're just you're, you're back to being Linksys on your own because you're now partnered with Belkin is that correct that, that's correct so in, in March of 2013 um, we were actually purchased by Belkin um, but Belkin recognized the 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 brand strength that the Linksys brand had and they've they've kept that brand and they've actually brought it back and we're trying to strengthen it and continue. So you'll see a lot of Linksys branded products going forward and keeping that brand. So we're excited about that. That's awesome. And hopefully here in the next few videos that you watch down the road, we're actually going to have a partnership video with Belkin. We're going to talk to them about some of their Wemo stuff. Alan's going to be talking to them about that. Uh, but right now we want to focus on Linksys because this is just amazing. How did you guys get this in here? <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty tricky. It's actually a very powerful router. We're really excited about it. Um, it's got four external antennas, which gives us antenna diversity and greater range. Uh, we put the fastest CPU in here we could, 1.2 gigahertz ARM-based CPU. Wow. We've added an eSATA port to the back. You know, it's really important for the content creators, the prosumer customer. And, and most importantly, we've made it customizable. You know, you, have, you mentioned hacking. Um, so we are supporting that community again, open WRT community, so people can actually go and customize their own firmware. That's nice to see because now we're starting to see the eSATA port, like you said. Right. There's also USB 2 and USB 3 That's in there as right. well? Exactly. Yeah, and so you're able to plug in uh, multiple devices we'll with USB. It. This could yep. be a, a printer, a hard drive, yep. pretty much anything that's USB. A anything that's USB um, or eSATA, you know, for fast file transfer speed. So this has got the horsepower that you want for those fast speeds. So guys, be on the lookout for all this stuff. Uh, is this one commercially available at this moment or is this something coming down the road? It's coming down the road, so it'll be available in what we're calling springtime. We don't have an exact date, but that's probably going to be in the April time frame. So we're looking at probably quarter two, quarter three this year for exactly. 2014 yep. to be looking on this. Yep. Uh, also, it's kind of cool. What I do like is I remember back in the day having to type in 192.168.1.1 or whatever it was. Exactly. You yeah. know, uh, you guys also have apps now that are available that we can get into these things and control. Yep. Exactly. T tell us a little bit about that real quick. Sure, it's called Smart Wi-Fi. Um, and, and what Smart Wi-Fi does is it gives a very easy interface for people to want to get into the router. It's remote access and we also have app applications that we develop internally and both um, we have partners develop it externally as well. So there's very easy apps like parental controls. I love it. It makes it so much simpler. And for those of us that remember back in the day having to do all that programming, yeah. I'm sure you're still going to break into this thing like I would too right. and just mess around with it yeah. and put other firmwares on there just to kind of see. But anyway, uh, as you remember on the South Park episode, I think we were having some internet connection issues. So I'm gonna, I'll be right back as I get that taken care of. You guys keep watching. Stay tuned to TexNation.tv for all your CES 2014 coverage. I'll be right back.